From around the globe to the heart of Poppet Land comes the O Poppets crew with the latest news update. With your newscasters, Crackle the Raven and Mockingbird, ready to enlighten your world. This is a little birdie told me, an O Poppets news bulletin. And now, here's Crackle Raven with the latest report. And a chirpy chipper hello to you. Good evening and welcome to another edition of A Little Birdie Told Me, the Old Poppets News. I'm Crackle Raven, your fine feathered friendly reporter on the dot with the latest news update. Well, the Xbox One owners are in an uproar as they wonder why their Xbox One consoles are automatically powering on without any human interface. The answer came in the form of a televised Xbox One advert wherein the Xbox Kinect was being demonstrated. The voice of actor Aaron Paul within the commercial was able to trigger people's actual Xbox One consoles to trigger the Kinect's voice motion sensors, thus powering itself on at the words Xbox On at the beginning of the advert. Oops, I just said the words that triggered your Xbox One to turn on, didn't I? Uh, uh, viewers of this television audience, if you are near an Xbox One console and it just powered on, please tell it Xbox Turn Off. Now, on to it. Oh, wait, never mind. I just powered down your Xbox One consoles, didn't I? Uh, please disregard the previous request and make sure to set the Xbox On standby mode. Oh, geez, I did it again, didn't I? Uh, Xbox Turn Off. There we go. That should fix it. Now back to the news and the story about what an impact we have with Xbox on the community. That darn it, Xbox, turn off! Folks, this is making this news bulletin very difficult to report when we can't even do an expose with Xbox on the capabilities of... Oh, sorry, 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 Xbox, turn off. Members of the viewing audience, I do apologize for turning your Xbox on and make sure your Xbox turn off again. It just happens that way, I guess. And speaking about the Xbox One, an uproar of another sort has led people to believe that the camera of the Xbox Kinect can see through clothing. After this video was featured demonstrating the Xbox Kinect's ability to recognize bodily motions, the concerns of being able to detect one's genitalia began to surface. And according to Microsoft, the Xbox Kinect does not have X-ray capabilities of seeing through your clothing and that the model who demonstrated the Xbox Kinect had a crease in his trousers which gave the illusion that his genitalia may have been detected. When asked in dozens of interviews amongst many other Xbox Kinect users, they were all unaware of the demonstration video's misperception and a few of them actually did get in front of their Xbox Kinects completely nude. But then these people were at a nudist colony, so I guess that makes sense. In Pawpet Falls, 32-year-old Joe Crackenuckle was brought to intensive care at a local hospital after achieving a straight 76 hours of non-stop gameplay. Mr. Crackenuckle had just received a copy of Battlefield 4 for his Xbox One for his birthday and immediately ditched his surprise party to go to his bedroom, leaving behind several friends and his wife Amber to fend for themselves with the remainder of the party. According to Amber Crackenuckle, she stated that her husband would only went into his bedroom to test the new game out and wound up spending over three consecutive days with no food, water, or bathroom trips. His eyes were practically crazy glued to the TV screen. After prying his eyes off the screen with a crowbar, she noticed that Joe had reached a comatose state and was indeed unresponsive to his wife's voice. Joe was taken to a local hospital where his wife was requested any recollection of owning Battlefield 4 would only be a fleeting illusion within a dream state. Amber hopes that once he recovers that life will go on normally for the once happy couple. Amber also reported to Opopet's News that she intends on selling the Xbox One on eBay and replacing it with a semi-functional Super Nintendo Entertainment System in its place. And on another side of local news, Kirk Bond, age 29, reported the unusual loss of his Xbox One console. Bond was looking forward to spending a day off from work to enjoy a full day of uninterrupted gameplay. When he awoke this morning, he was startled with what he saw. And here with that story is our own Mockingbird. Okay, birds, spill your feathers. What's that strange situation surrounding this particular bewildered Xbox One user? Well, Crackle, I tell you, this is quite an unusual morning for avid Xbox One fanatic Kurt Bond. Uh, perhaps you would like to enlighten us with what you saw this morning. It's more like what I didn't see. And now my Xbox One console, well, it somehow turned up missing. But my Dead Rising 3 game was still there, where it always was. And so was the controllers and the Kinect. The only thing that wasn't there was my Xbox One console. My first indication was that I was robbed during the night, and I was on my way to the telephone to call the authorities when I saw this note posted by the phone. And uh, what did the note say? Well, that's what's so unusual. It read, Dear Kurt, 
It's obvious that you don't. You and I had a decent relationship when you first brought me into your home. I really felt like we had something going between us. You would spend time with me after work, and I would provide you with bloody warfare with games like Wolfenstein The New Order. I would fulfill your need to whip around weapons like in Call of Duty Ghosts. I even cater to your horrific habit with Dead Rising 3. When you constantly say those hurtful words, Xbox, go home, I felt that a strong part of our bond was broken. You don't have to worry about me anymore. I will be going back to Microsoft where it all started, and you can enjoy filling my void with a nice, shiny new PlayStation 4. Don't bother calling for me. I've made up my mind. I thought that the Bond and Kirk Bond really meant something to us, but it's easy to see that it's just a surname after all. Fare thee well, Mr. Kurt Bond. Fare thee well. Yeah, I never did get that go-home command either. Well, I never thought much of it, too, to be honest. I only wanted to toggle the main screen so I can queue up a late-night film before going to bed. Woke up the next morning. My Xbox One was gone. Could it be possible that perhaps a neighbor of yours may have snuck into your home and while you were sleeping and maybe left out with it in the middle of the night? Maybe left that note by your telephone? I mean, honestly, how can something as inanimate as a video game console have the ability to get up and walk away, and not only that, but also leave you a note by the phone? I know it wasn't a neighbor. Look, you can see on the on the carpet where the where the Xbox One left a trail behind, which happens, which leads from here to the phone, and then out to the front door. And look, you can see the trail is about the size of an Xbox One console being scooted across the carpet. Well, maybe whomever did it uh, pushed it along the floor to give it that illusion. That's what I thought, too. But when I did finally call the police, they told me that I wasn't the only one that experienced this strange phenomenon. They took practically 20 calls this morning from people who reported their Xbox One consoles were missing. And their stories happened to be the same exact as mine. And now I'm left without an Xbox One. I mean, what am I going to do for entertainment now? Well, hey, hey, it's not the end of the world. You can go into, oh, well, I don't know, uh, maybe you can go outside. Outside? What's to do out there? Well, there's fishing, hunting, camping, jogging, going to the park, swimming, walking, shopping, you name it. Think of it as a virtual reality world and that you're really out there experiencing every sight and sound and smell of the outside world. And without the risk of running out of battery power of your controllers. It's just like real life. What do you think I am, an idiot? You can't just randomly walk up to any car you want, grab the driver, rip him out of the front seat, beat him to a pulp, and then jump into his rod and then speed off into Crime City. It's just not honored out there. You even have to have things like, oh, uh, permits to wield weapons, and that's not any fun. And if I get shot out there, I have to go to a real-life hospital to get the bullets out. That's if I didn't die first. Hey, think of it as a real-time rumble feature with an extra sensor for pain infliction. Hmm. You know, I never thought of it that way. Sure, and you could really do a lot of damage by jumping into a giant cybernetic warfare machine and tromp around pop and land in your very own mech robot. Just like in Titanfall. I could see myself now. Just keep in mind, though, if you do kill anybody out there, you'll have to go to do some real time in real life jail. But I'm sure if you can randomly run up to any car you want, grab the driver, rip him out of the front seat, beat him to a pulp, and then jump into his rod and speed off into Crime City, as you have previously stated, you should be able to retain your freedom. Oh, it'll be alright. I played Grand Theft Auto V well enough that uh, I should know the ins and outs of how to play the game. Uh, thanks for the advice, though, Mockingbird. I'll go outside right now. Well, there you have it, folks. The new Xbox One seems to have an updated Go Home feature that really sends your Xbox One consoles to go home to Microsoft. I guess our next report will be live from the Microsoft Corporation based on all of the unusual appearances of all their people's Xbox One consoles. Back to you in the newsroom, Crackle. Hey, Kurt, where'd you go? Kurt! Hey, Kurt! Thank you, Mockingbird, for that unusual story. Though I seriously doubt Kurt Bond's mind is that far gone to turn his video game play world into reality. Well, it seems that the unusual Xbox One disappearance phenomenon was just brought into light, or into justice, shall we say. An unknown representative from Sony of Pawpet Land was just caught with a minivan full of used Xbox One consoles. The identity of the perpetrator has not yet been revealed, but it seems that this unknown burglar has been caught in the neighborhoods of Pawpet Land, sneaking into people's houses and swiping their Xbox One consoles, and leaving the same way he entered, leaving behind saddened Dear John letters in their places, and all of them mentioning the possibility of filling the void with a PlayStation 4 console in their place. We take you live to the interrogation room where Wayne T. Fowett, Discount Detective, is on the case. So, 
You were caught with a load of used Xbox One consoles. There's no denying that you are guilty as charged. You know how expensive those consoles are? Do you realize that the PlayStation 4 also has great share of potential in the video game wars? You leave Potential Fox out of this. Now, what were you doing with all those consoles? Don't you know how many Xbox One users are distraught with your actions? Well, I didn't think about that. All I could think about is how much our market is dropping in sales. Did you know that our corporation has dropped 11.6% in the f this fiscal year? Really? 11.6? Wow. Perhaps you should have thought about more advertising on places like Netflix or Quackle. Hey, what's Quackle Raven got to do with this? Anyway, yeah, you got me. You know, I did it single-handedly in hopes to gain an extra boost in revenue. I thought so. Do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Enough to experience a 100% downfall in business affairs? Exactly. You're looking at about 5 to 10 for the 10 to 20 Xbox One consoles you were carrying, which 2 to 1 usually means your 10 4 days of freedom are no longer your 20. Uh, what? Come again? Constable, take him away. Oi! Oi, I know me rights! I'm a businessman! <sighs> there you go. Another case solved by Bring the Discount Detective. Now about my pay. I'm thinking pizza with pepperoni and extra cheese and sauce. Yay! Ooh, this just in. Our own Mockingbird has experienced a theft of a different nature. While on location at the west side neighborhoods of Poppin' Land, his own news van had been stolen. The only thing left at the scene of the crime was a note which read, Thanks for the advice. I'm off to capture teensies and search for the mystical land of Lemuria. Ta-ta! Now it's easy to see not only has Kurt Bond taken his video game world a little too dangerously, but now he's mixing plots of Raymond Legends with Child of Light, which makes him just as guilty doing that as he is by making off with one of our news vans and leaving our star reporter in a stranger's house with no Xbox One to play. Thanks. Help! Help! I'm bored! I don't know what to do! Oh, don't be so upset, Help. Mockingbird. At least you could go outside and do something constructive. And speaking about Microsoft, it's been confirmed that the virtual build em up and fight em off world known as Minecraft has been brought up by the software giants in July of this year. Mojang AB, the company behind Minecraft, quickly secured the deal with Microsoft for a $2.5 billion purchase. It's all been, also been stated that several other companies were interested in buying Minecraft as well. But when a company founded by Bill Gates waves $2.1 billion in his face and says, I'm here to take over, here's your retirement for the next three lifetimes and don't spend it all in one place, you'd understand why Marcus Persson was quick to sell out. Currently, Minecraft remains at the top of the list of virtual gaming worlds for having a high cult following. Its avid fans dressed up as blocky characters carrying around foam blocky weapons, making how-to videos on YouTube constantly, Legos and other toys releasing Minecraft theme editions, and not to mention a feature presentation from Warner Brothers on the way. The future for Minecraft seems to be unaffected by the change. But we still can't help to believe that all of the new characters of Minecraft will start to look like this. In the constant battle of video game console wars, it seems that Xbox One would win this battle if it weren't for several consoles being told to go home all the time. Will PlayStation 4 be as good enough contender in the race for the best video game home console system? The world may never know. All I can say is that if you happen to be kicking back with a game of Watch Dogs on your Xbox One, just keep an extra watch out on your console system as well. For this week's news update, I'm Crackle Raven, your fine-feathered, friendly news reporter, signing off.